a successful debut. Uh, what do you think has driven demand? Um, I think uh, Kerry Express a um, very good track record over the years um, and our brand name in Thailand um, being a household brand uh, makes people also feeling very excited together with our management and our, our stakeholders. So um, people love us. You've raised almost $300 million. Uh, where will the money go to? Um, indeed, we have a very, very positive medium long-term plan of the company. So um, we are looking forward to invest more in the country or in the region to expand our existing business as well as to expand to more services um, uh, or product correlated to delivery. So uh, there will be a lot more Ex um, penetration into the, into the market as well as uh, new investment opportunities coming up. Elaborate on those expansion plans. Yeah, so um, we are the country's biggest um, parcel delivery company. Uh, our, our, our motto in expansion in the coming years is, is carry express everywhere. We will be penetrating deeper into communities, uh, villages, and also households so people can use our service easier. Um, people will see carry more, more, uh, uh, more, more visible in their own communities, and we will provide uh, uh, more convenience to them. And at the same time, uh, we will, we will be investing in technologies to en enhance the, the stability as well as the reliability and visibility of our services. So um, uh, one of the key investment area will be on cloud, uh, cloud-based technology supporting our in-house um, operations as well as uh, uh, customer usage of our services. Uh, COVID-19 has forced companies to pivot. I mean, how has it impacted your business and what is the strategy for you going forward as a result? Thank you. So, um, indeed, uh, COVID-19 changes um, our way of working inside the company. You know, we are having thousands of offices only in Thailand alone. So, before we have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings, but now we, we are cancelling nearly most of the, the cross-province or, 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 or travelling and we will be doing things by, by, by video conferences. And at the same time, you know, um, demand from the market has surged a lot, especially during lockdown period. Uh, but we are not looking for those windfalls. Um, however, we are build, building more infrastructure and our, our network stronger so we can serve our customers easier. Because especially during the lockdown period, you, you will see people are desperate to, to use our services to send things to their family, friends, and also business partners. So um, after COVID-19, we will be the way of our working will be changing, but at the same time, our penetration will be will be better and deeper. Alex, tell me something. You're saying that you treat this IPO as a corporatization exercise, which turns uh, carry from a company to a corporation. What do you mean by that? Yeah, um, we were we, we started Carry Express as a very small and the country's first um, parcel delivery company, and we did only parcel deliveries for for years. Um, with the IPO and the corporatization program, uh, Carry Express, while not losing the focus on parcel services and deliveries, we will be more uh, dynamic. We will be more diversified. Um, we will be look uh, more pro uh, proactively looking into opportunities to expand ourselves into. Uh, into other areas in deliveries or into businesses or services related to deliveries. So this is this is Such one as? of the core part of the corporatizing pro program. Um, for example, for example, in the past few years we have been um, very active in payment, and so we are partnering with different payment gateway. And today, apart from delivery, we are the country's biggest payment on delivery operators, and we are the biggest merchants of the leading uh, QR payment companies in Thailand. So, so from Express. From parcel deliveries, because we are connecting with millions of households every day, there are a lot of opportunities over, over there that we can develop or look into. Uh, I, I suppose you're trying to also move into the new economy and just get away from basic uh, logistics here, aren't you? And that's perhaps the attraction of your shares. Would you agree? Um, new economy is very important because it will be a, a medium long term growth potential. Uh, uh, the most important growth potential for, for the company, but at the same time, we are also we are also like a utility company. We are also serving 
serving a lot of people, send, sending their personal belongings from one place to another. So we are a very unique hybrid of the old and new economy. So we are in a very unique position in development. Uh, of course, you're a Thai company. Will you always remain as such, GSP, entirely? Of course, you've got, of course, affiliates elsewhere. But uh, will you be uh, just concentrating on Thailand, or do you have any plans to expand beyond your borders? Thailand is very important for us. It's, a, it's, a, it's the place that Care Express, uh, Care Express was founded. However, uh, after this IPO, we will, we will be also considering uh, opportunities in the region, not only in Thailand, but we will, we will be very, very much Thai-based.